General K. V. Krishna Rao has been one of our most far-sighted generals. He was our 11th Chief of the Army Staff. We had an opportunity to meet him during our recent visit to Hyderabad in connection with the annual get-together of my 34th NDA course. We requested to meet him and he most graciously invited us to his house on the 3rd of December this year. The general, 93 years old, is by the grace of God, hale and hearty. He does not use spectacles. Though slightly, a bit hard of hearing, he does not use hearing aids. And by his own words, he does not use a computer, though he has written three voluminous books. One, an autobiography, another on leadership, and third, a study in our na nation's security. General Krishna Rao has never been one to ask for a specific posting. He never did it ever in his life, by his own words. Yet, when he was approved for the rank of brigadier, the MS asked him for his choice and he chose 114 Mountain Brigade at Dharbok and Daulat Beg Oldi in Ladakh. He commanded his men very well and he set some realistic exercises. Though one of his units failed to take the precautions required for high altitude, and had a few cases of frostbites and chillblains. There was an inquiry ordered and he took the blame for the unit. Then General Harbakshing, the then Western Army commander, the man who later on saved Punjab in the 1965 operations, he visited him. And after his briefing, General Harbaksh ruled that no more inquiry is to be carried on on this. At that time, General Kumara Mangalam was the vice chief. He too visited the brigade and appreciated him for the realistic way in which he conducted his exercises. As soon as he finished his command of the brigade, he was sent to the Imperial Defence College in UK. That college is now called RCDS, Royal College of Defence Studies. He did his course there and no sooner had he returned to India at the end of the course than the DMO, Director of Military Operations, rang him up and called him over to Delhi. There, he told him that he was to write an appreciation of what the Commander-in-Chief of the Pakistan Army would do he was given no directions. He, he was himself to assume what aim Ayub Khan, the then president, would have given him and what terms of reference he would have given him. And he had 14 days to write that, uh, that appreciation. He wrote that appreciation and at the end of it, he went back to the DMO, General Sattar Singh, and presented his op uh, appreciation. It was very well received. He said, now you go to the vice chief, General K. S. Katoch. There also he presented his appreciation. Ultimately, he was told to present it in front of General Kumara Mangalam himself, who was then the chief of the army staff. Like that, he received a lot of appreciation for very, very imaginative activity. And the high point of his career was in 1975 when he was the Corps Commander of 16 Corps. At that time, General Raina, the Chief of the Army Staff, told him to form an expert committee to choose his members and form an expert committee to analyze during the course of 20, next 20 years how the army 
should modernize and be effective. For his committee, he chose eminent generals like K. Sundarji and M. L. Chibar. We know they did an excellent job. This committee went around to various places. They went to Hosur and had a very long discussion for two days with General Kumara Mangalam at his house. Meanwhile, General Setna was commanding the staff college. He was told to contact the Field Marshal Manaksha. He was told to contact Field Marshal Manaksha and told him that the expert committee would be coming there. In his own flamboyant manner, Manaksha says, what expert committee? I am the expert. Then, when Setna told that to Krishna Rao, Krishna said, kindly go back to the field marshal and said it is Krishna's request that he should meet the expert committee. Manaksha invited them and said, I don't need to talk to the expert committee. Of course, they were all 15 to 16 years junior to him. But he took Krishna Rao upstairs and they had a very, very long discussion for two hours. Halfway through, Mrs. Manaksha came up and said, there are two generals waiting there for more than an hour. So Manaksha says, please go back and keep them engaged for one more hour. I am busy talking to him. Such was his interaction with Manaksha. And we know that the expert committee that produced took the army along for the next 20 years. It is very difficult to keep track of the passage of time when you are in the presence of General K.V. Krishna Rao. Episode after episode, interesting events after interesting events. It went on and before we realized, an hour had passed. So we bade goodbye to him, wishing him all the best and came away after signing his visitor's book, Jai Hind.